Uh, being the youngest out of eight, I, I see my brothers and sisters kind of find their niche. They were good at this and that, and I felt like I, I couldn't find that niche. And, uh, and I really like music, so I, so I started playing music when I was about 14, 15, and, and I, I thought I, I kind of found it, and I found that thing that would, would be my acceptance through, you know, through that music. I actually started playing in church, which was a good thing, uh, but a lot of the guys, a lot of the bands that I was listening to and, and enjoyed at that time were, uh, you know, some bands that they, they were public about their lifestyle, about, you know, drinking and drugging, and so I knew it wasn't right, but it, it was definitely an influence in my life. And then as I got a little bit older, actually my mom passed away, and that was the, the toughest moment in my life for me. I didn't know how to talk or share what the things I was going through. And, uh, and music kind of being my release, um, I chose that route, but I was super upset with God. I actually said I, would, I hated God at that moment in my life, the day after the funeral. And I bought some whiskey and some drugs, and, and I turned my back on God. You know, for, for a good 10 years, I went through uh, drinking and drugging and, and just saying I didn't believe in God. But when things got rough, I'd still talk to Him, you know. But, you know, I just denied it, and I wanted to... Uh, just play, I played in a lot of bar gigs, a lot of big bands, opened up for radio gigs, and you know, I've really felt like I'm fulfilling this calling that I had in my heart that I wanted to do. But the bigger the shows, just the emptier I became. It just really wasn't, just really wasn't what, what, I, what I thought it would be. I literally lost pretty much everything, and I ended up in, uh, I had my house, but I didn't have any furniture. I had my guitars, I needed my tools to trade, you know, as, it, as you could say. Uh, my friends or people I don't even know would drop me off on the, on, the, on the porch or in my house because I was too buzzed up to even know where I was at you know, and, until uh, a friend shared with me the gospel. And the most amazing thing is, is the Bible that I found that I had was my mom's Bible. Wow. You know, so, so I started reading it in Proverbs uh, 4.19. It says, the way of the wicked is like darkness. They don't know what, what makes them stumble. And that stopped me on my tracks because I forgot why I was running. I forgot what I was even living for. Why do I need these heavy drugs? Why do I need to do these things to even, at that point, go to sleep? I didn't really go to sleep. I'd pass out. You know, I needed a Savior. I needed Jesus. 